Hello everybody. Um, today is Wednesday. Uh, it's quite cold and crisp outside. Um, oh, you want to be up? Here you go. Hey, this mosh, say hi. Hello, this is this mosh. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like winter is going anywhere. So, I, I, I think I've been wearing all my layers today as good old times in January. And um, I was also wearing sunglasses because of gusts of wind that literally made me cry. And which gave me an idea, because um, I've been, I've been uh, battling the dry eye syndrome for quite some time, so I know a lot about eyes at this point. And I thought that I should talk about it because it's one of those things that is, is the, it comes with the, with the territory, as they say, you know, uh, it, it comes with our lifestyle being completely uh, dependent on technology and screens. And that's something that I haven't had up until recently. Um, and uh, I think it will be sort of a regular um, series uh, on my channel. Uh, I'll call it Health and the City. Get the joke. Um, and I'm just gonna be talking about different things that I'm trying to figure out uh, and my friends also try to figure out in different health battles that they're fighting. Some of them uh, are more serious than the others. Obviously dry eye syndrome is not something that's life-threatening, but it does um, lower the quality of life. So without further ado, let's talk about the dry eye syndrome and things you can do to improve it. Like you can get a kitty, because kitties help with everything. I uh, went to grad school in New York and uh, I was studying film and media and uh, I did everything on the computer. I wrote my papers, I watched my films, I edited my films. I was constantly surrounded by screens and social media and uh, I mean, I still am, it's not like that has changed. but. Um, uh, yeah, slowly I started feeling something that I've never felt before, like, oh, my eyes are so dry, like, I want to rub them, I want to close them all the time, um, and, uh, yeah, somebody told me, just go get the eye drops over the counter, which I did, and, uh, slowly but surely, I tried them all, because I needed help, uh, and I felt extremely uncomfortable up until about maybe like, you know, a year ago when I realized that I can't even wake up in the morning without um, pouring a bunch of eye drops in my eyes. Literally, I lay in my bed with my eyes closed and I reach f and try to find eye drops on my nightstand and after that I like, uh, and then I can like open them. Um, yeah, so that's like not fun. And if you also add the lack of sleep, which you know, happens all the time, like pretty much, then this is really not good. And on top of that, add the fact that I'm wearing contacts a lot. I'm really not comfortable wearing glasses. I do sometimes, but these are the days that when I stay in at home and do nothing. Um, and um, yeah, so I went and saw a doctor, <laughs> which is a very good thing to do because um, they can check if you have some things that are like more serious, you know, than just dry eyes. There's like a surgeon syndrome, then there are like, you know, all kinds of things that, you know, if you have problems with your eyes, you only have two of them for your entire life, make sure that you're on top of that. Um, so yeah, I went to see my ophthalmologist, Dr. Kashet, um, who has an office next to Columbus Circle. I don't go there too often. I only go there for pretty much for my ophthalmologist appointments. And uh, slowly but surely, we embarked on the um, journey of trying to figure out, oh, that light was crazy, of trying to figure out my eye situation. So first there was the drops, you know, the prescription drops that she gave me. Um, I tried them, you know, all those things also take time. Like you can just, uh, you know, you have to like try the new lifestyle for a little bit and see if it works. So I tried those drops, didn't work. Um, then there were, I think, another drops, more more like serious, and it, they didn't work. Then there was the um, tear plug, tear duct plugs, uh, a little dissolvable, uh, teeny tiny things that they put under your eyelid, lower eyelid, 
to press on the tear duct and to intensify the tear production that way. Um, so they were dissolvable um, and they didn't help, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, uh, and again, like you spent time in them. You, I, I think it was like three months that I was trying to figure out if it works for me or not. And then I came back, um, she put the permanent plugs in, um, which, you know, still are inside there and uh, it's actually a very simple like five minute procedure they, it's uncomfortable but you know really nothing to be scared of and they so uh, yeah so the plugs didn't work and so she put me um, on uh, on on restasis which is at this like does crazy things which is a uh, I think it's a steroid uh, prescription drops and uh, they pretty much fight the inflammation in your eyes you know uh, and uh, you have to take them for quite some time, several months. And also, they gave me this burning sensation. They gave it. They give it to everybody. Uh, the burning sensation. So every morning, I would put those drops in. My eyes would be on fire. I would wait 15 minutes till I put some other dro drops just for the moisture, and then I go with my contact lenses. And I, you know, and I also put them in at night. Uh, Restasis in combination with the uh, permanent. Uh, tear duct plugs because she also put the permanent ones in uh, also didn't help unfortunately it took I, I think I was so hopeful that eventually maybe one day I will feel it but it didn't happen and by the way restasis is also very expensive uh, I think it's $500 without insurance and uh, they really didn't want to pay for it until like my doctor had to call and tell them like no she needs those drops like pay for those drops obviously I would never spend $500 on the freaking eye drops um, so yeah and uh, well also they didn't work for me uh, hopefully they work for other people but uh, yeah so I came back to her office feeling very frustrated and uh, hopeless in a way and she, and she, and she put um, she went another step and she put the dissolvable tear duct plugs under my upper eyelid so now here I am I have plugs in lower and now on the lower under the lower eyelids and then and so now I also walked out of the office having dissolvable plugs under my upper eyelids uh, and on top of that, she gave me new prescription drops, which just were approved uh, two months ago, called Zydra. Um, and uh, yeah, and she was like, this has to help you, has to help you. Uh, I was very hopeful, but guess what? A month went by, they didn't help. Yeah, I was honestly so hopeless at that time already. And by that time, trust me, I was already, uh, you know, taking all the supplements that you read about on the internet that you should take fish oil, you know, flaxseed oil, that you uh, should eat fatty fish, like salmon, um, what else? Uh, I bought castor oil, light. <laughs> I bought castor oil because they also say that that helps, you know, you put the castor oil in your eyes. Um, I tried to adjust my lifestyle as much as I can in terms of at least leaving my phone away in the kitchen while I go to bed so that's not it's not the first thing that I do in the morning and it's not the last thing I do in the evening you know um, trying to just do some minor lifestyle changes so that I'm not as dependent on looking everything up on screens you know I started listening to podcasts more than watching YouTube videos uh, you know trying to engage my ears a little more instead of my eyes so all those little things that you know I I light <laughs> I, I i did them all like i didn't do ayurveda particularly or anything like that but i think um you know it would obviously be beneficial or acupuncture you know specifically for that but i mean i just didn't go that way that far because after my another uh stage that of of treatment that didn't work i came back to her office and she was like okay I mean, I've never seen anybody like that. But what I can do is I can put the, I can put the, um, what it's called, the permanent tear duct plugs under your upper eyelids. But you will overflow with tears. I mean, apparently, you know, the upper eyelids are very sensitive, and um, 
uh, up or uh, to your glands are very sensitive. Uh, and I was like, I'll take that because nothing helped before. So uh, it was a Friday and she put those thing. It literally happens in the, in the same time, the same day, the same office, you know, she put those, du those plugs under my upper eyelids. Um, I walked out, I started going home and I realized that my eyes are wide open. Because before that, I would always squint, you know, light, wind, you know, I'm squinting a lot, you know. Um, and uh, this time I was walking and I was like, oh my God, my eyes were so moist. I was blinking. I was looking everywhere. I was excited again. Because I went, because it was very hard to live like that. You know, I would literally sometimes say, oh, I need to go home because my eyes are tired. Like, not me, I'm not tired, I can roll. But my eyes are tired and I need to get my eyes some rest, quote. And, you know, that's not the way I want to live my life. So anyway, that was Friday, that was a week ago, where first time after more than a year of trying to deal with the problem and more than two years of having it, uh, I finally, thanks God, you know, felt the difference. Uh, I still put a little bit of eye drops in the morning, um, but at least I, I go through the day without suffering at all, and it's fantastic. This is my third coffee, by the way. It's just that kind of a day. Uh, anyway, so this is my dry eye journey. Um, I hope that whoever is uh, watching this video will find this uh, helpful. Uh, we all. I mean, I think I read somewhere that women have it more than men just because of our, how we're built, I have no idea. Um, and it is the uh, something that people have more and more because everything is done through the screens. You know, you're, you're glued to your phone all the time. I mean, my phone all the time. Uh, you glued to your computers, you glued to your TV. Even when you read the book, you can, you read it, you know, an iPad or something so uh, it's everywhere um, and uh, this is something that we have to really be on top of because this is no joke I mean it can develop into something really serious and you don't want that so I'm really happy to share my success story and I hope it will help somebody see a doctor uh, absolutely very important see a doctor um, and um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you stay healthy and happy.